Okay, let's look and say we've been given some data uh, where uh, we have surveyed a number of households and asked them how many dogs they have in their house or living at their house. And we're asked to construct a probability distribution and uh, describe the shape of the distribution. The first thing that I would always do here is get my total number, uh, in this case households, of the total number surveyed. The way that I would do this is once I get my data in Excel, I would just say equals, and I would do a sum, double click there, cover the numbers, and I see that I've got a total of 545. Now, in order to get the probability distribution, out here uh, to the right of households, I would make another uh, column that says the probability of X. And what we have here is uh, we're just going to uh, get the uh, number. So uh, divided by the total. So this will be equal to this number divided by 545. Now, I suggest just typing in the 545. The reason is if I click on it, the next one that I do, Excel will assume that it wants me to shift and it'll give you some problems. Just trust me on this. I hit enter. I get 0.532, so that's just telling me that about 53% of the households have zero dogs. But now I can copy this uh, and paste down through here and get my probabilities. Now if I want to round these to say three decimal points, I can do that by uh, clicking those and then right clicking and saying format cells number, let's say, to three decimal places. Okay. Now, I always like to come down here and sum these up. These better be equal to zero, uh, to one, not zero, but 1.0. Sum these up, hit enter, and it is one. So I know, you know, that this is a probability distribution because these sum to one. The types of problems you get on your homework and quizzes, they sh it should equal one. If it doesn't, there's a problem. So if they ask you to construct uh, the probability distribution, you would have X here, which is dog. So I could put an X out there, but that's uh, the number uh, of dogs is X. The probability would for zero would be 0.532. The probability for 1 would be 0 0.330. The probability for 2 would be 0 0.083. 3 would be 0 0.0, and so on. And then if they wanted you to graph this, you could simply watch this. I'm going to click dogs and drag down. Then I'm going to hold my control button, CTRL, and hit the probability and pull down. Uh, and cover those. And then I'm going to say, oh, I want to insert a recommended chart. Yeah, let's see what you have. Let's try this one. Now this is uh, just a uh, bar chart, but I can make it look like a uh, histogram by double clicking on one of the bars. And over here on the right, you can't see it all, but changing my gap width to zero and you see, yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, so I come over here, and I can see that this is definitely, let me see if I can go down here. I can see that this is definitely a right-skewed or right-tailed distribution. So that's a, that's a pretty cool thing to be able to see.